Over the last week, I think all of us have been following the weather as two major hurricanes have impacted our country. However, while some of us have just watched, those living in South Texas and Florida have been faced with a disaster and destruction of their homes and businesses. And when our industry needs assistance, we count on the Collision Industry Foundation, or CIF. Founded in 2001, the CIF is dedicated to raising, managing, and donating funds while fulfilling the philanthropic goals and needs of the collision industry and the communities they serve. I first worked with CIF during Hurricane Katrina and was impressed at how they served the shop owners and technicians affected in Mississippi and Louisiana. Now the foundation again needs our help for the victims of Hurricanes Harvey and Irma. Joining us today from the CIF Board of Trustees is Jordan Hendler. Hey Kristen, it's great to be here. Jordan, can you tell us a little more about how CIF works during disaster situations? So the Collision Industry Foundation has an ongoing response disaster relief program. So it was started probably 12, 13 years ago, definitely before Hurricane Katrina. And, you know, we helped victims through that catastrophe. While working Katrina in Mississippi and Louisiana, I encountered a lot of shops and technicians that were upset over the loss of equipment and tooling and the lack of coverage from business and homeowners insurance as well as FEMA. Were those type situations a spark for CIF disaster relief? So that was the whole point of the disaster relief and it was really seen hugely through the Katrina efforts was that the technicians for first of all a lot of them had no insurance on their tools they assumed incorrectly that the shop's insurance would cover their tools so they were left not only in a lot of cases homeless um, penniless but also without a means and way to get themselves back to work so a lot of the technicians um, it's technicians painters um, office staff personnel it could be really anybody in the shop and, you know, the, the key is a lot of them would say, if you get me a set of tools, I can make money. So that was what they, you know, they felt they needed the most and most urgently. A lot of them did tell us that they were not getting support from FEMA or the state or any local assistance. So our tool set or if we were able to give them a gift card to Walmart, per se, um, to get food or sheets or clothes, um, something for their children that was needed, you know, whatever it took, that gift card could get them by and the tools could get them back to work. So that was the whole initiative is to assess what they need. If there's personal needs, we try to do those on a case by case basis, but then obviously employment and getting back to work really seems to be the priority. What can we do to help other shop owners and technicians that have been affected by these two massive storms? The biggest immediate need would be the donation. If we can get donations, we can help more and more and more people within our industry. And that's the most important thing is that it's just people in the collision industry. So 100% of what you donate is going to go right into the collision industry folks who are affected. And if, if they want to help specifically by being on a committee or helping us be a quote unquote boot on the ground, that is what we need too. We need local representatives to help find people that are in our industry. Because I can tell you, after Katrina, we lost a lot of people in our industry to other industries. When they left Louisiana, Mississippi, or even, uh, we had a lot of people who left Louisiana, went to Texas only to get hit by Hurricane Rita. It was awful, like it was a double mess. So we definitely want to preserve the people we have. We all say we got shortage and we definitely don't want to lose any. So to us, that's the biggest thing is making sure they stay in our industry and that our industry knows that we care about them. What if we have some tools or equipment we'd like to donate in addition to money? So there's definitely possibility of that. And how we would do that is work with like the Auto Body Associations and say, hey, we have a donated frame machine. We have a we have donated paint guns. We have um, donated tools for our technicians that we can get right back to people. So I'm sure that that would have a little bit of a delay because right now, obviously, they're going to be in cleanup mode and assessing what needs there are. But if there was, um, you know, item donations that 
could be made. I'm sure we can work with the local state affiliate there to make sure that that can go directly to an affected person or shop. What if I don't have a lot of money to give? Are small donations accepted? Every dollar will matter. So if you're a technician or, or a shop owner or anybody in the industry, even an adjuster too, um, $5 will go a long way. So every donation matters. Thank you. Jordan, thank you for taking the time to join us on such short notice today and for all you do for the Collision Industry Foundation. You know, there are so many ways to give and help the victims of these hurricanes, but donating to the CIF is the only way to ensure your dollars help collision repair technicians and small business owners just like us get back on our feet and back to work. To learn more about how you can help the victims, visit the Collision Industry Foundation website today.